Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. The number of automobiles increases every day and the amount of pollution increases as well. Thus, the emission norms are becoming stringent year by year and new technologies are being evolved to curb pollution. In this video, we are going to discuss one of such emission control technologies called selective catalytic reduction. You may know what a catalytic converter is and how it works. If you don't, please watch our video on catalytic converters. The link is in the description below. Selective catalytic reduction is also an exhaust after treatment process which selectively reduces the emission of NOx with the help of catalysts. Here, the reduction is achieved by adding urea which reacts with the exhaust gas for converting NOx into nitrogen. First of all, why do we need SER? The emission of NOx can be controlled by using the exhaust gas recirculation system as well. But recirculation of exhaust gas is not desirable in all situations as it affects the engine performance. This emphasized the necessity of using selective catalytic reduction system to reduce NOx emissions. SCR technology was first used in thermal power plants in 1970. They are also used to control NOx emissions in gas turbines, waste plants and incinerators. Since the mid-2000s, the SCR system has been used in mobile diesel engines. Now, let us move on to discuss the construction of selective catalytic reduction system. The exhaust pipe from the engine is connected to a diesel oxidation catalyst. It is a catalytic converter that contains oxidation catalysts like platinum and palladium. The DOC is in turn connected to a selective catalytic reactor. The reactor consists of a honeycomb ceramic structure coated with catalysts like oxides of vanadium or titanium. The amount of NOx produced varies with the engine working conditions. Hence, for supplying exactly the required amount of urea, a dynamic urea dosage system is used. There is a urea tank which injects urea into the exhaust stream by means of a pump and an injector. The injector is controlled by an ECU which detects the engine conditions from various sensors and determines the amount of urea to be injected. Now let us see how this system works. The exhaust from the engine reaches the DOC where the hydrocarbons and carbon monoxide are converted into water and carbon dioxide. Then the exhaust reaches the SCR. At the same time, on receiving the signal from the ECU, urea gets injected into the exhaust stream. Then the urea gets hydrolyzed into ammonia. This ammonia reacts with the NOx in the exhaust gas in the presence of catalysts inside the SCR and produces harmless nitrogen gas. Even even with the dynamic urea dosage system, there is a chance for unreacted ammonia to get emitted. The emission of unreacted ammonia is known as ammonia slip and in order to avoid this, an oxidation catalyst is added to the SCR system. Thus, the excess ammonia will get oxidized into nitrogen. The advantages of SCR are that it can reduce NOx emissions by up to 90% and hydrocarbon, carbon monoxide emissions by up to 50%. But this system has its disadvantages as well. It demands an onboard storage tank for urea and periodic filling of urea tanks demands high cost. Well, that's all about SCR. Stay tuned for more interesting videos. Until the next one, bye.